Okay, so we had started. So let's, today we'll be starting revising the exercises. We had done till here. That was just the introduction part. Yes, sir. We had done till here. So this was all, these were the examples of your textbook. So, shall we move on to the exercise part? Yes, ma'am. Okay, tell me this. Find the ratio of number of notebooks to the number of books in your bag. Ma'am, we should say our... Click your bag. What happened? Ma'am, we should... We should check our books in our bag. How many are there? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Do you have your bag next to you? Yes, ma'am. It's uh, behind me. Okay. So, the ratio number of notebooks. Check the number of notebooks. The number of notebooks will make the numerator. Ma'am, uh, ma in, my, in my bag, there are uh, seven notebooks. And how many books? Textbooks, ma'am. Books, yes. Textbooks. Ma'am, I have uh, nine textbooks. Uh -huh. So... So whatever you have, number of notebooks will be come, will come in the numerator. Your number of yes. books, your, your textbooks will come in the denominator. Denominator. Part. Okay. Yes, Seven by nine. Seven by nine. Great. I'm so sorry. I'm four by four. One is two. Four by four. One is two. Okay. Equal number of notebooks and books. Okay, same way you can find in your class also number of desks and chairs in your classroom. Okay, find the number of students above 12 years of age in your class. Then find the number of ratio of students with age above 12 years and the remaining students. Okay, this can be. This, this is like an activity. Find the ratio of number of doors and the number of windows in your classroom. So you can visualize your class. How yes. is your class? How many doors are there? How many windows? Ma'am, two windows. Two doors. Ma'am, one is to three. One is to three. Great. Ma'am, two is to two. Which is okay. one is to two? Okay. Ma'am, one is to four. Draw a rectangle and find the ratio of its length and to its breadth. Now you are sitting on a table. After the class, what you can do is you can find the length of your table and length of your breadth of your table. Okay. And you can find the ratio of the length to the breadth. May should I find okay. length of my table? Now will you find? <laughs> okay. Afterwards you can do. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, these are small activities. After, after the class you can use. Okay. Uh, uh, ma'am, uh, <laughs> I told that in my bag there are uh, se uh, seven notebooks and nine textbooks. Mm -hmm. The ratio is 7 is to 9. Yes, 7 is to 9. That means like uh, if we have nine, a fraction, nine. just we need we can we need to directly keep the ratio symbol. Ah, you can you can write 7 by 9 also and it's you can write it like this also. Yes. Okay. Ma'am. Okay. Yes. Ma'am. Yes. In my bag I have nine test books and yes. uh, eight notebooks. So eight notebooks. So that's eight is to nine. Okay. Or you can write say eight by nine also. But sure. form we write like this. This is eight by nine is a fraction form of writing. Okay. Let's move further. Ma'am, I have a doubt. Yes. Yes. Please ask. Ma'am, we should write it in. Only proper fraction. Uh -huh. We can't write it in improper fraction. You can write in a fraction form, whatever it is, improper or proper. You can write, but that actually sounds is too, no? Suppose if you have x by y, so you can write it x is to y. 
x is proper. Okay, whatever this fraction is, either improper or proper fraction, that does not make any difference. Okay, the numerator can be greater than the denominator, the numerator can even be less than the denominator. Okay. So, yes, ma the, main, okay, ma the main purpose is to recognize the things in the ratio form like this. This is a fraction form, but all the more they are same. Yes, okay, now coming to exercise 12.1, let's revise. Okay, there are 20 girls and 15 boys in a class. What is the number? Can I do first a bit? What is the number of uh, ratio of number is of four. Ma'am, it's uh, uh, 20 is to uh, So, 20 girls are there. 20 is to 15. 15, 15 boys. boys are there. Now, if, but it's 20 is to 15. But yes, ma'am. It's can better to bring it. it to the lowest form. We can. Right? Yes, ma'am. 4 is to 3. 4 is to 3. 4 is to 3. Uh -huh. four is to so if you three. Okay, yes. So, whenever you have fraction in this form, you can always bring it to lowest form. How do you bring it to lowest form? And simplification. Ma'am, by dividing. By dividing, okay. So, with what number will you divide this? Ma'am, five, five. Ma'am, by five. Five, I can divide. Both numbers will go with five. So, five, four is 20. Five, four, and five, five, five three is So, the lowest form of the fraction is this. Four is to three. So, this ratio is, is two three. to three. You got it? Okay. Yeah, similarly, yes. Similarly, you can ask what is the ratio of number of girls to the total number of students in the class? 20 is to 35, which is 4 is to 7. Ah, so total number of students is total of boys and total and of girls. Uh, total of girls and total of boys. So that's 20 plus 15 is 35. 35. Okay, so 35 are the total number of children in the class. 20 plus 4 is to 7. Yes, so, so <laughs> number of girls is 20 and yes, boys are 35. Exactly. So, what ratio did you get? I will get 4 is to 7. 4 is to 7. Yes, I, get, I will again divide this with 5. So, I will get 4 is to 7. I can write it as 4 like is to this. 7. Okay, good. Yes, now, see the next one. Out of 30 students in a class, Ashwath will tell me this now. Out of 20 students in class 6 like football, 12 like cricket and the remaining like tennis, find the ratio of number of students liking football to the number of students liking tennis. Ashwat? Ashwat is there? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Ashwat, yes, tell, ma me, tell me. Total students are 30, 6 like football, 12 like cricket, and the remaining like tennis. So you have to find the number of students who like football to the students who like tennis. Ma'am, 12 members like uh, 12 members like tennis. So 6 is to 12. Ma'am, 6 is to 12. We need to simplify. If we simplify it, we will get 1 by 1 is to 2. Ma'am, can you hear me? Ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Ma'am. Oh. So you got it? It's 1 is to 2. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, number of students liking cricket to the number of, to the total number of students. Please find this. Who and can I find Rishit? Okay, Rishit, tell me. Ma'am, it's uh, 12 is to 30. So, okay. which, which is equal to 2 is to 5. 12 is to 30. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So 2 that's is to 5. If we simplify to... it, 2 is to hmm. 5. 2 is to 5? Yes, ma'am. With which number did you divide this? I divided by 6, ma'am. 6. Okay, yes. 
six tens are uh, and six two two is two with the two five. and six two is two five. Five. Okay. Two is two five. Good. Okay, now in the next one, see the figure and find the ratio of number of triangles to the number of circles inside the triangle. Now, Adrit will tell me this one. Question number three, A part. Yes, Adrit? Yes, ma'am. Uh, see the figure. Um, see the figure is there. The geometrical shapes are there. Number, find the ratio of number of triangles to the number of circles inside the rectangle. Number of triangles to the number of circles. In this rectangle, you, how many triangles you have and how many circles you have. So you will find the ratio of that. Tell me, what is that? How many triangles are there? And triangles are three. Uh, triangles are three, yes. Circles. And circles are two. Circles are two. So what is the ratio? I'm so three by two. 3 by 2, you can say 3 is to 2. Instead of saying 3 okay, by 2, 3 is to 2. Okay, otherwise 3 by 2 is also correct. Okay, but the actual way of saying is 3 is to 2. Okay. okay. So, uh, now the next B part, Sritej will tell me, number of find the ratio of number of squares to all the figures inside the rectangle. Ma'am, yes. uh, ma all the figures are uh, 7 number, uh, are 7. And number of squares are 2. So it's 2 is to 7. 2 is to 7. Great. Good. Okay. Now Soumya will tell me. Soumya, find the ratio of number of circles to all the figures inside the rectangle. Number of circles to the number of figures. How many circles are there? Ma'am? Inside uh, this ma figure? Ma'am, two. Two circles are there. And how many total figures are there? Seven, ma'am. Seven. So what is the ratio? What is the ratio? Two. Three, uh, two. Uh -huh. Two, yes, correct. By seven. Okay, the I two is to seven. Okay. Now see here, Somya, number of circles to all the figures inside the rectangle. Now, first they have asked us number of circles. So we will write the circle number first. Yes. And to all the figures. Then they have asked us all the figures inside the rectangle. So then we will write all the figures. So this is how we get the ratio. Okay, yes, Samia? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now see the next question. Distances traveled by Hamid and Akhtar in an hour are 9 km and 12 km. Find the ratio of speed of Hamid to the speed of Akhtar. Hmm? Now both the boys are traveling. In an hour, they are covering the distance 9 km and 12 km. Find the ratio of their speed. So, what will be the speed? Speed is kilometer per hour? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma 9, 9 km per hour. 9 is to 12. Okay. Ma'am, so it's uh, 3 is to... Yes. So, bring it to the lowest form. 3, three, three is, is to 4. 4 is 12. Ma'am, okay. um, I have a doubt. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, uh, do the ratios always have to be in the simplest form? It's better to bring it to the simplest form. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it's not necessarily that it has to be in the simplest form. It's but it is always preferred. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Fill in the following blanks. Okay. So what will come here? Now see this. This is the this ratio is given to you. So when you divide this, I think five. Three, uh, so when you divide this by three, you will get here five. And the first one is five. five. 
फॉलोइंग नंबर so the first one is 30 minutes to 1.5 hour 1 and a half hour and so, it's a uh, 60 but 30 is to 90 wait wait don't give me the direct answers what will you do here first see the Ma'am, units 1.5 hour to 90 minutes yes ma'am 90 uh, minutes units have to be same for finding the ratio the units should be should be same so you will convert 1.5 hours to minutes first So one point five hours will be how many minutes? Ma'am, ninety minutes. Ninety minutes. Okay. So thirty is to ninety will be ah, ten is to thirty, and it will be one is to three. Yes. Ma'am, the okay. answer is good. directly we can yes. do it by with thirty table. Ah, uh -huh. so that's thirty is to ninety. When you yeah. bring it to lowest form, what do you get? I will get it as a one is to one is to three. One is to three. Good. Okay, now see the next one. Forty centimeter to one point five meters. So here in this question, what will you do? Bring the height. Ma'am, one point five meters into ninety minutes. 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 Uh -huh. So how many meters is one centimeters? It's hundred. 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 No. So when you, ah, uh, so when you multiply one point five with hundred, what do you get? Ma'am, one fifty. One hundred fifty centimeters. Centimeter. Ah, uh, so just. Ma'am, it's four is to fifty. Four is to one fifty. What do you get the lowest form? Ma'am, we get it as. Uh, the... Ma'am, four is to fifty. Four is and uh, just reduce the zeros. Four is to fifty. Four is to fifty. And both are divisible by ten. Ten four size is forty. Ten fifteen size is one fifty. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. See the C part. Fifty five paise to rupees one. Now convert both to. Ma'am, fifty five. Fifty five. Ma'am, one rupee will be hundred paise. Hundred paise. Great. So now fifty five two hundred pesi. So we can divide it, it by five. Eleven is to fifty. Okay. So this is fifty five is to hundred. Hundred. Eleven is to fifty. I'm eleven. Eleven is to. Uh, I'm twenty. Twenty. Eleven is to twenty. When you divide by five, five eleven size is fifty five, and five uh, is twenty. Gives you hundred, so eleven is to twenty. Okay. Uh, this is next one is five hundred milliliters to two liters. Again, do the same way. Convert the higher. Two thousand liters. Two thousand milliliters. Two thousand milliliters. So that's five. Five hundred is to two thousand milliliters. So now bring it to the lowest form. Ma'am, five five is to twenty, which is equal to one is to. Four. One is to four. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am, it will become one is to four. Yes. Okay, children. When but uh, remember one thing. When you are writing in the subjective exam, suppose if I if I give you such questions for your subjective exam, you have to write in a statement form. And how is that statement? Is not like these are not any story sums or something. You have to first do the conversion of this. You have to show the conversion, okay, and then perform the your uh, whatever calculation you are doing when finding the ratio, okay. Yes, ma'am. Ah, so this time and be careful about the units. 
Rishit, I was expecting good from you, but what my mistake you made was you didn't first of all you didn't write the units, and the second thing was that you didn't mention the statements also. Have you seen your answer sheet? Yes, ma'am. Ah, so you must be very careful about that. Okay, mm -hmm. that is that was the only thing where you lost your marks, and other children also. Most of the children have done the question paper very nicely. You all knew everything. But thing is that you couldn't present your work. You should, you know, write the statement. You get marks for writing the statement until you do the conversions. Now, uh, in the question, uh, in the test paper, there was some 65 kilometers and some 20 meters was yes, there. You know, something like that, like this was there. So most of the children have not converted this 20 meters correctly. So this has to be when you are converting 20 meters, what will it be? 20 meters is when you convert this to kilometers, what do you do? You divide by 1000. Okay. So when you divide by 1000, your decimal point will be here. Is it? So this becomes yes. like this. This much kilometer. But most of the children have done it like this. Uh, like this. Most of the children. So please be careful while doing conversions. So same thing is here also in these questions also. You're converting meter to centimeter, hours to minutes, paise to rupees, rupees to paise, milliliter to liter. So be very careful about uh, these conversions. Okay? Ma'am, okay, ma uh, I think seven days ago, uh, okay. my decimals chapter was finished. Okay. We are now at uh, data handling. You are now at data handling, okay. But never mind, but these are small calculations. Okay, conversion, see, uh, you are studying about conversions from your, maybe your uh, third, fourth class, I think. Ma'am, I learned from fifth. Ah, so, but whatever, these are very basic things. You should not forget them. That I studied in fifth, I studied in fourth. But never mind, you have to keep it in mind throughout your life. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Ah, so, how will this uh, be spontaneous to you when you keep on practicing such questions? Okay, so be careful about conversions. And here also you have conversions. Okay, now class 6th will not teach you these conversions again. Because these things were taught to you in your previous classes. But still, I am telling you again how to convert it and be careful. Okay, now see here. Let's see question number 8. In a year, Seema earns rupees. 150,000 and saves rupees 50,000. Find the ratio of money that Seema earns to the money she saves. So, look here. She's earning 150,000 and she's saving 50,000. So, money that Seema earns. Ma How much money she's she earning? Uh, 150,000. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 1,50,000. And how much money she is saving? She earns 50, money that she earns to the money she, she earns. So that's I'm out of one lakh fifty, she sells fifty, and uh -huh. more one lakh she spends. If we divide it by ten thousand, uh -huh. so first you read three to one. Five, five. Okay, wait, wait. Now you have four zeros here. And, and we can cut the zeros and we will get 15 is yes. to 5 and we can yes. divide it by 3 and we will get 3 is to 1. 3 is to 1. Very nice. So simple. Okay. Now money. Second part. Yes. Money that she saves to the money she spends. Now how much money she is spending? One lakh. One lakh. One lakh. So that means she is saving. Ma'am it's easy. It's just 1 is to 3. Uh, so she is uh, like this. She is earning rupees. She is spending rupees one lakh. So, money that she saves to the money she spends. So that is fifty thousand is to one lakh. Now it's same as uh, the A one, but we need to uh, no, switch. It's, it's, uh, uh, ten uh, by five. It will be one is to three. No, it will be one is to. 
10 by 5 10 by is equals to 2 is to 1. Ma'am, 2 is to 1. Huh. 2 is to 1. 2 is to 1? One? 1 is to 2. 50,000 is to 1 lakh. So, um, 4 zeros and 4 yes, zeros yes, are cancelled. Yes. So, 5 and 10. So, that okay, is 1 is to 2. 5 is to 2. Hmm. 1 okay. is to 2. Uh -huh, 1 is to 2. Now, see this next one here. Question number 9. There are 100. There are 102 teachers in a school of 300, 3,300 students. Find the ratio of number of teachers to the number of students. Please do this. Do it yourself. Try yourself and show me. Hello? Yeah, ma'am. Yes, found. Yes, tell me the answer. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Ah, tell me the answer. And without simplifying, I got 1 by 2 is to 3,300. Without simplifying? Yes, ma'am. What are you saying? Without simplifying? Without simplifying. Ma'am, I'm still doing. Do it. See, this will be 102 is to 3,300. So, when you divide this by... Man, 17 is to 550. Look here. Mama, I got 51 is to 1500. You divide this by 6. What do you get here? 6 ones are 6 and you get 17 here. Yes, and ma. here you get 6 fives are 30. Then again 6 fives are is 30. 0. So now ah, yeah, so 17 is a prime number. So you cannot reduce it further. So it's Mom, I also 550. Okay. Mom, I also got the same. Yes. So how do you get this number? With which number we have to find out this number? How do you get this number? How do you think of this number? Now the number was this. So in this case, you know, I'll tell you one thing. What do you what you should do? Uh, you should find the HCF of these two numbers. Okay? Okay? When, so you find the highest, when you find the highest common factor of these two numbers, so that, num that number is a factor of both the numbers, no? Yeah. So you can divide with that. Okay? Okay. Instead of, instead of just struggling with the what number to try, what number to try, you know, sometimes you will try with one number, then it does, if it does not divide, or else, you try another number. Ma'am, or else we can check the divisibility rule. Yes, you can check the divisibility rule, but sometimes the numbers Yes, are those two divisible. numbers are divisible 2 with 3, so it is divisible by 6. Yes, so some, but sometimes the numbers are such where you cannot think of the number how, with which number to divide. So in that case, yeah. you can find the HCA. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now say this. In a college, out of 4,320 students, 2,300 are girls. Find the ratio of number of girls to the number of students. So, before finding this one, first we will find the number of boys also. These are out I'm, of... Uh, I'm two... These are total students. These are the girls given. So, how many are the boys? I'm 2,020. 2,000? 20. 
These are the girls, these are the total number of students. Four, three, two, zero. First of all, you can delete one, one, zero here. You can cancel yes, one, sure. one, zero. Okay. Then you are left with two, thirty, and four, thirty. Now, both these are even numbers. You can divide this by two. Okay. When you divide this by two, what do you get? Whatever answer you get, uh, 2, 1, 2, 1, the 2, then you are left with 2, 1, 1, 2, and you, you are getting 2, 2, the 4, 2, 1, the 2, 2, 6, the. so this is, no, this is 5. Ma'am, uh, this, this uh, 231 is 115. Ah, so this is 115 is to 216. Okay? Okay? Okay. Now see the next one. Number of boys to the number of girls. Now number of boys are how I many boys were 2020 and the girls were 2300. So zeros can be cancelled. One one zero can be cancelled. And again you can see both these numbers are even numbers. So even numbers can be divided by two. And when you might divide you get this. Mom, is it one not one two one one fifth one one five? One one okay, okay. This is one one five. Right. Okay. So this is the ratio. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now let's go further. Okay. Now the here... time is up. Oh the... wait, five minutes are left. Time is yeah, later. Ma'am, we should have 45. No, Sorry, 645. Uh -huh. So the time is still 6.50. Okay. So number of boys to the number of students. So how many are the total number of boys? That is? Ma'am, there are 220. 2020. And total number of students is 4,320. Yes, ma'am. So again, zeros can be cancelled. Please find the find the answer for this. Both are even numbers, so you can divide by two. One not two by uh no two one not six. one two one six yes one. Okay, we have yeah. done this division earlier also. No? Two one six here also we got two one six here also we got. So no need to divide again. We have already done it. So you just wrote the answer. Okay. So this is this since this is a revision of the chapter we are doing, you must have already done these exercises earlier, is it? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Ah, so, so you must be quick in doing the calculations now because you know the way of doing now. Okay. So it takes time when we do the things first time, but when we do second time, third time. Our speed has to increase. Okay, now see this. Out of 1,800 students in a school, 750 opted basketball, 800 opted cricket, and remaining opted table tennis. If the student can opt only one game, find the ratio of number of students who opted basketball to the number of students who opted table tennis. Can you do this? Total number of students are given to you. That's 1,800. Okay. Total number of students playing basketball is this. And opted children who opted cricket are this much given. And how many are remaining for table tennis? So how many will be playing table tennis? So that will be 1,800 minus 750 plus 800. Yes, you can minus those children who had opted for basketball and cricket, no? So that you will get to be 1550, 
subtracted from 1800. So that will be 250. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so that means these many children are playing table tennis. Table tennis. Table tennis playing children are 250. Now, can you find the ratio now? Number of students who opted basketball to the number of students who opted table tennis. So, basketball was 750 students and table tennis was 250, 250. students. So, what is the ratio? 0, 0 cancel. Yes. Uh, 25 ones are 25 and 25 threes are 75. Great. 3 is 2. Uh, 1 is 2 threes. 3 by 1. 3 so is 2 1. 3 is 2 1. Whatever comes in the numerator, on that number comes first. first. Okay. So always say 3 is to 1. Okay. Now see the second one. Number of students who opted cricket to the number of students opting basketball. So how many opted for cricket? 800. 800. 800 by 750. 750. So please find the ratio. 0, 0 cancel. Yes. Uh, we can take um, 80 uh, five, is to 75. We, can, we will divide it by 5. Yes, ma'am. You will divide it by 5. What do you get? Ma'am, 5. Uh, and we can take 5. 16 is to 15. Uh -huh. Which number did you divide that? Ma'am, 5, 16. Ma'am, 5. 5, 16. You divided with 5. You divided with 5. 16 by yes, 16 is to 15. 16 is to 15. 15. Okay. Yes. And they can't change. Hmm. So now you cannot do this. 16 okay. is to 15. So the ratio is 16 is to 15. 15. Good. Okay, now. Number of students who opted basketball to the total number of students. How many played basketball? Ma'am, uh, 750 is to 1,800. Uh, number of students who opted basketball to total students, 1,800. So please find for this. Cancel the zero. Zero, zero, zero cancels. Zero, zero cancels. Then? Ma'am. Now we can take five only. Five, okay, five. Five fifteen. Mm -hmm. Mom, fifteen is Five, to thirty-six. Mom, fifteen is to thirty-six. If you divide by five, what do you get? Fifteen, 15. is to. Mom, fifteen 30. is to thirty-six. Mom, we can uh, simplify with three, three. Now still further, you can divide it. Mom, uh, five by twelve. Five by twelve. Ah, so that again. Five you is to. Mom, five by twelve. Five is to twelve. Five is to. 5. So that means you divided this by 3. So that's yeah, 5 is to 12. So your ratio is 5 is to 12. Yeah. Okay? Good. Okay, ha, so you must practice these questions, okay? Okay, ma'am. So for your today's homework, I am giving you practice all these questions. Whatever we have done, you will be doing all these questions in your notebooks, okay? With proper statements and okay, everything. All these questions we have done till uh, this question. This is question number 11, okay? From one to question number 11, you will all practice these questions in your rough notebook, okay? okay. Or wherever you have your online class, maths class notebook. So this is your homework for okay. today. Exercise 12.1. Mm -hmm. Map with statements or without statements? With statements. That gives you a practice when you write your subjective exam. It gives you a good. Mom, this whole exercise. First, do eleven questions. We have done eleven questions, no? One to eleven. Yes, ma'am. So can do those questions first. Okay. Ma'am, as homework. As homework today. Okay. 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 Then bye for now. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, children. Bye, Good night.